Yo, what's cracking, everyone? Eric Ship Triple One here, and we are back on Forza Horizon 4 with another episode of Hidden Secrets, Easter Eggs, Glitches, and Funny Moments that you, the subscribers, have found in the game. This is a series where you send me interesting things you have found in the game and the ones which are the most unique and haven't yet been showcased on my channel will possibly get a chance of being featured in a future episode. To send me the things you have found, make sure to either write them down in the comment section down below or direct messaging them to me through Instagram, Twitter or Xbox, either by describing them or recording it in video form. Please just make sure that it is in the best quality possible so it can be used in an episode. All of the links will be down in the description below and hopefully I'll see some of you guys in the next video. So let's take a look at seven secrets, Easter eggs, glitches and funny moments that you have found in Forza Horizon 4. Starting off with number one, Forza Vista camera answered. So as we are all well aware, when we head over to Forza Vista mode and just idle, the game will go into a sequence of cinematic shots. No matter which house or festival you are in, all of the camera angles are usually the same, except for one car that we found recently, and that is the Ford Supervan 3. As we can see in this particular shot here, the camera angle is tilted and wider than the traditional camera. However, we have now found another vehicle that has the same camera angle too, and that is this, the Chevrolet Corvette ZR1. But the car must be exploded for this to happen, as when everything is closed, it just shows the generic camera shot. This then got me thinking, is this a special view for when the bonnet is up, as I also tried this with the Corvette Z06 and Aston Martin Vulcan, and to my surprise, the camera changed but then I went even further and tested out some other vehicles with a more traditional bonnet explosion. And look at this. That's an even more warped angle on the Subaru STI. This then leads me to believe that the specific camera is attached to the bonnet itself. It just so happened to not occur to the Supervan 3. Very interesting and a huge shout out to George Fraser from Instagram for showing us the ZR1 camera change. Now we have more questions answered. Thank you. Number two, more busted tail lights. Recently in Horizon 4, we have been on a quest to find out which cars have a much more detailed damage model as since the series has progressed from the original Horizon game, the car damage have become very bland with cars just slightly crumpling with shattered windows and that's usually it. Now so far we have found a few exceptions that have a damage model which stands out beyond the bland damage that we get in most vehicles. Firstly, the Ford Cortina. This can be damaged at the rear with both taillights going nearly completely bust and of course the 1997 Honda Civic Type R EK9 where both side skirts can completely fall off. Well, here is another vehicle that can have both of their taillights damaged, and that is the McLaren 650S Spider. As we can see, the more we smash the rear, the dimmer the taillights go, to the point that it's nearly non-existent. Now, the reason why this is intriguing is that if we choose the normal McLaren 650S and try and damage the car in the same manner, the taillights don't go bust at all. Only some slight crumpling, which I certainly find odd. Certainly a bit frustrating to see as there is a lack of consistency in many of the car damage models. And I also know that some exhaust and rear wings can fall off too. But are there any other vehicles in the game that have a very unique model damage alone? Let us know down in the comment section below and a huge shout out to Salt underscore Maurice from Instagram for sharing this. Thank you. Number three, a funny moment. As most of you know by now, in each episode, we will feature a couple of funny moments in order for more of you, the subscribers watching, to get involved. Just make sure to send in your clips saying funny moment, and I'll be sure to check it out. Okay, so uh, we're here with the Pill P50, and off the jetty, he's decided to roll onto this boat here. And, um, man, I don't know what your end goal is, mate. What are you trying to achieve here? Okay. Here comes the normal Forza glitches. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's going on there? Oh no, you made it underneath the jetty. Now what? 
Turns out that's the end of the clip. But anyways, a huge shout out to Ice Rice Tea from Xbox for sharing this with all of us. Thank you. Number four, did you know about the steering rack? So this was sent to me as a bug or a glitch, which I personally don't think it is. Now the feature, shall I say, involves the Halo Warthog in Horizon 4. And what we will be investigating is the steering angle. As we turn from one side to another, you will notice something oddly strange. And that is the opposing wheel that's being turned will create more of an angle or will continue to turn after the side in which the wheels are turning in is already locked. I believe this is to allow the car to turn sharper or give the car a better radius and given the size of the vehicle, any increase in steering angle would be beneficial. This can also be seen in formula drift cars or vehicles that have drift suspensions equipped but at a much smaller scale. Definitely a detail many of us missed with the Warthog, including myself, as I don't drive it much, but a huge shout out to Lewis Bleakney from Instagram for sharing this with all of us. Thank you. Number five, full line still showing. I don't know about you, but when I play Horizon 4, I have the braking only racing line turned on as I'm terrible at remembering these fantasy tracks that Playground Games have made. Not saying the tracks aren't memorable, I just have a memory of an ant. But for those who may be a little newer to the game and just getting the feel of driving, may perhaps have the full racing line on and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Everyone is at their own level, but it makes sense to just see the full suggested racing line when you are either going to a set location or in a race, right? Well, not according to this clip here. The player is upgrading their vehicle, but the line is suggesting them to drive out of there already. I mean, come on Horizon 4, let the man modify his car. Now, I tried replicating this myself using various methods and to no avail. If anyone knows how this is done, please let me know. Anyways, a huge shout out to carspot.cbass from Instagram for sharing this with all of us. Thank you. Number six, an epic moment. All right, so here is an epic or skillful moment. And as we can see, this guy is just drifting outside of the Horizon Festival in this Peugeot and it seems as though he's getting a lot of angle on this. I don't know, either he's making it really easy to drift or this car is easy to drift. I don't exactly know. I think it could be a combination of both, but look at the angle that this guy is getting. Oh no, here comes the 360 through the toll booths and a nice little drift tap at the end. Not bad, not bad at all. Anyways, a huge shout out to EXE Fetzer from Xbox for sharing this awesome clip with us. Thank you. And lastly, number seven, no car still unlockable. All right, so in the last couple of episodes, we revealed how you can unlock the no car. All you really needed to do was drive out from the festival, then press the pause menu and head over to the creative hub tab, then choose livery design and type in the gamer tag or keyword that actually has the null car as one of their paint livery. Then all you need to do is purchase the car or paint livery for 50,000 credits. Subscriber Airship was kind enough to show us the steps to unlock the Null Car, but unfortunately got his specific Null Car livery taken down. Thankfully, I believe no bans were issued, and also anyone who got their hands on the Null Car didn't get banned either, according to the comment section of my videos. Now, I will say for those who missed the opportunity to get the Null Car from Airship, well, the same method still applies. All you need to do is now find the gamer tags with the null car livery and you'll be able to unlock the null car again. This time though, I won't be dropping any gamer tags in this video as it's too easy to target, but a quick search on YouTube or even just through the livery search and I guarantee you'll be able to find a few. A couple of things I didn't mention in the previous video is that first, this is a multiple time purchase vehicle. So once you pay for the null car, modify and drive it and then switch vehicles in order to drive the null car again, you will have to go through the entire process as it doesn't save in your garage and two, you can't take this car into any races. So as of right now, this has yet to be patched, but from me to you, I will say if you want to drive this car, do this at your own risk. 
So there we have it guys, seven hidden secrets, easter eggs, glitches and funny moments that you the subscribers have sent in for Forza Horizon 4. If you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure to smash the thumbs up button, that would really help me out. And remember, if you guys have any clips that you want to send to me, all of the links will be down in the description below. Any social media will do and I look forward to all of your submissions. Anyways, if you guys would like to see more Forza Horizon 4 content right here on this channel, make sure to click the subscribe subscribe button with notifications turned on that way you won't ever miss out on another video that goes live and i hope to see you guys in the next video peace